Warpwire is based in Durham, North Carolina. Um, we're a three-person team here in the American Underground. We've developed secure video delivery software. So Warpwire is working with Duke University to, to sort of bring their entire media asset collection of all the media that they're recording and producing and, and filming and bring it in-house into a system that they sort of control. They wanted the information to be protected via their single sign-on system. They didn't want people to have to create new accounts. They wanted to be able to use the information they'd already done, like all the course and group information. They've already made the courses. They just wanted them to work so that teachers didn't have to learn how to create new new information, new catalogs. They didn't want to, they wanted to use new uh, open standards. They wanted it so it works on mobile phones. They wanted it so it works on desktop computers. They wanted it to work everywhere. And they wanted the process to be as simple to use as, as simple and easy to use. When we were deciding on, you know, creating Warpwire, one of our, our goals were secure media delivery. Secure media we got in spades, but when it came to delivery, we needed something that was going to be rock solid and fault tolerant. And when we looked at several different other companies before we came across Nginx, we were already using Nginx to do all of our web servers. Uh, we were using it to do all of our microservice architecture for all of our internal server systems. And so when it came to delivery, we, we realized that Nginx also could do the delivery step it was sort of the trifecta. It, it was what we needed. It used the same infrastructure we were already familiar with. It didn't require us to have to do anything different. And the performance of Nginx beat everything we looked at hands down. It's very lightweight, it's multi-threaded, and it's designed in a way that makes the, the this idea of segmenting and streaming files, that's just how Nginx has always worked. It, it's That's what it's built to do. To leverage Nginx to use video was, was easy. We love you know, kind of waking up and creating software that can, that has like a real impact, cultural impact. And then the impact of, hey, if we could build software that can make teaching and learning better, that process, that's something I can get behind. Basically, they now have a system in place that's going to let them scale infinitely. You can horizontally add new machines for Nginx streaming. They will take the load the same way as you horizontally add new machines for your front end servers. It doesn't require any new learning and there's nothing new for the system team to do besides basically spinning up a new instance of the streaming server and watching the load decrease. Which basically means that it doesn't matter if you're streaming uh, your small little event or you're streaming a commencement lecture, it's the same. Everything is predictable, everything scales out horizontally and it all does it in a way that's just simple and actually maintaining our Nginx infrastructure and keeping patches and updating it has also been very easy. And because of the way that the Nginx community sort of prepares you for the updates and the community is in place to verify and validate everything worked correctly, I have less to worry about. You also get access to their support channel. So if something does go wrong, there is someone you can call without having to worry. Um, but besides that, the, we really haven't had to use it because the product actually works as, as described. Any piece of software that we interact with, it needs to make our lives easier and it needs to make us more efficient. And so Nginx has really helped us kind of make that process and make that a reality.